guys. How's everybody tonight? So it is, um, let's call it Big Mac salad night, huh? It's um, Thursday and I have some um, training to do tonight so I wanted to make something super easy. I've made this before but it's so delicious that I thought I'd come live with it. So we're gonna just make the dressing and then I'm gonna show you how we put it all together, okay? Um, I already made the beef and it just calls for salt and pepper on it and we put a little bit of garlic on it and that's it. The only thing that I'm missing is mustard. I have no mustard in my house. So we found some ground mustard in the seasoning cupboard, so we're gonna use that. So how's everybody doing? If you would please share out the video. I am in Facebook jail, <laughs> so I can't share it myself. So I would appreciate if you would all share it for me so we can show everybody how easy it is. And I think, you know, so many people overthink it and so many people make um, keto low carb so hard and it really isn't so and it can be different every night you can do something different and it can be delicious so this is one of those real easy ones the other night hi deborah um the other night i did i shared a tuna melt recipe that i had done and that's another one that's so so easy and i make them in you can make them two ways you can put them in cheese that way or you can make them as muffins that's the way I like them and super easy as long as you have the stuff which normally you do so anyway who's keto who's low carb tell me what you're doing out there are you super strict I am super lazy keto I don't track anything um, I'm just fine how are you I'm great <laughs> um, I don't track anything I just kind of wing it and stay away from you know breads and starches and um, uh, pasta, you know, all the good stuff. <laughs> so, um, hi, Frasia. I'm making your favorite so I can eat it during training. Big Mac salad. So anyway, so let's start with the dressing, okay? We're going to pick mayonnaise first. And I love this one. It's um, avocado. It's made with 100% avocado oil. And I love it. It's um, I get it at Costco. Super, super um, inexpensive there. I love shopping at Costco. If you guys don't, you will be shocked at how many keto, low-carb options there is. Um, so it's just half a cup. I did attach the recipe that I like, but there's lots of them out there, you guys. Um, but I did attach the one that I like on the in the descriptions above so you can grab it if you want. Okay, so it's a half a cup of mayonnaise. Um, you wanna make sure you have high fat mayonnaise if you're keto, definitely, you know. I love the Big Mac salad tonight. Oh yeah, lazy keto. It's my favorite. All right, so uh, vinegar. Thanks for sharing. I appreciate you so, so much. I can't share right now, so I'm dependent on other people. Um, vinegar, it is one, te one teaspoon, sorry. And then I diced up my onions for the dressing. I have a really cool chopper from Pampered Chef, so I made it um, really small. But I also have some chunky ones for the salad. I think to me, one of the most, the best things about this salad is the pickles, but I'm a pickle lover, so I love pickle juice which I could put a little pickle juice in here, but you have the vinegar, so you don't necessarily need it. A little bit of paprika. It called for smoked paprika. I don't have smoked. And then because I don't have any mustard, I'm gonna use some mustard, some ground mustard, and it'll probably too close to the same thing. I'm not measuring that. You guys know, if you follow me at all, and if you don't already follow me, touch my nose and follow me, but um, I don't measure very well. <laughs> that just comes from years. I own a restaurant. It comes from years of just making soups and there's no recipe. It's just soup, right? Hi, Beth. Um, hi, Donna. How are you? Thank you for sharing, Teresa. I appreciate you. All right. So there's our dressing so far. And I think that's it as far as what I'm going to put in the dressing. The rest is just going to go in the salad. I prefer the shredded lettuce because it's more, 
it makes me think it's really um, a Big Mac because that's what they put on Big Macs, right? I haven't had a Big Mac in a long, long time, but from what I remember, there was shredded lettuce on that. So that's my preference, okay? And then I think I'm gonna add the burger first. And like I said, I just put, and I'm making enough for two, so don't think that I'm gonna eat this whole thing myself. And then the diced pickles. And I measured this all out before I came live just to make it easier. And then tomatoes. Now tomatoes, this is a little bit too much, so I'm not gonna put them all in here. Tomatoes are one of those things, you guys, that have sugar in them. So you have to limit that. And when you're buying like tomato paste or tomato sauce, always checking your sugar content to make sure they didn't add any more sugar, okay? They hide sugar in everything, so you have to be careful. Hi, Karina. Um, <laughs> Big Mac salad. Thanks, I look great. Well, I had the whole day off today. I worked in my office all day. It's sparkling. I got lots of work done, and um, so I don't do much on my days off with myself. I, mean, I take a shower, but that's about it. <laughs> all right, so we got tomatoes, pickles, burger, and cheese. I buy shredded cheese already, but I recommend that you all shred it yourself. And why I recommend that is, just like everything else, they put a potato starch on shredded cheese to keep it from sticking. So you don't need that added carb in there, so shred it yourself. I, because I own a restaurant and I get bags and bags of cheese, I just bring it home. So that's just one of those things that I choose to um, not worry about. But if you're really strict, especially, make sure that you're buying and shredding your own cheese, okay? And it's more cost effective. All right, so now the dressing. All right. I hope this is enough dressing for as much salad as I put in here, but we can always make more, right? I guess I should have tried this dressing first. Let's do that. Mmm, it's good. Oh yeah, yeah, that's good. All right, so we're just gonna mix it up. And the mustard would give it that orangey color, but because I didn't have any and I just used the seasoning, it's not as colorful as it would be. Oh yeah, that looks good. All right, look at how good that looks, right? Yum. All right, I'm gonna take a bite for you guys. And then I'll mix it better and all of that before I put it into two separate bowls. But I will try a little bite. Okay, I got a little bit of everything. I got some burger on there, tomato, pickle, and lettuce. Mm-hmm. Mm Tastes like a Big Mac but a lot more healthy, no bun. Mm, that's so good, yum. All right, you guys, it's that simple, see? Keto, low carb, can be that simple. So I appreciate you taking time out to watch me. Hi, Tammy. Um, if you could share this video out, I really appreciate that. It's been my goal this whole year, or almost to the end of the year, to educate people at how this lifestyle can change your whole world. It can get rid of the inflammation, it can make you feel better, it can give you some mental clarity, all of the good stuff. So, and all the things that it did for me, I wanna share with everybody else. But I can't do that by myself, so I need you guys to help me and share, okay? So, I love and appreciate you all. I will see you tomorrow, probably, most likely. I put onions in my, you know, I do have some onions. I'm gonna do that. Good, good idea, Teresa. Um, and then next week, starting next week, I'm gonna do a whole Thanksgiving series. I have, I think, three or four recipes to help with your Thanksgiving cooking, okay? All right, you guys, I'll see you later. Thanks.